Welcome back to another video today I will be ranking every blood demon art in project slayers. I have maxed out all of the blood demon arts, so I will rate them on these factors. Combo extenders. Damage. Range. Speed. And difficulty. I will rate all the demon arts off of these factors, and then average them for my results. Firstly arrow BDA. Arrow demon art has 3 combo extenders. These are great for PvP as well as boss fights. The damage output on these attacks are very good with low cooldowns. The range is one of the best because you are able to use your spikes from a long distance. The speed is not bad either. Although the flight has no use in PvP it is good for traveling. For combo extenders I'm giving arrow and 7 out of 10 because only 3 of its abilities combo extend. The combo extenders also fill up the dodge bar fast as it hits them multiple times making the extenders not very good for PvP. The damage output is insanely high on this BDA I will give the damage a 9 out of 10. The ultimate ability on this BDA has extremely high range, although the other abilities have very short range. So I will give the ranger 8.5 out of 10. The speed is not bad on this BDA either the arrow flight is not very useful in PvP. So I will give it a 7 out of 10. The arrow art is one of the easiest demon arts in the game, so I will give the difficulty a 10 out of 10. My final rating for the arrow BDA is a 8.3 out of 10. Next I will do Tamari BDA. The combo extenders for this BDA is great as you can combo extend with almost every ability, if you do it right against players or bosses. The damage is pretty good for its difficulty as you have to land the balls. The range is obviously very good, and has the highest range out of the demon arts. This demon art is the only one without any mobility. In my opinion this is the hardest demon art in the game to use and get good at as you have to land balls and hit hard combo extenders. Combo extenders get a 9 out of 10, because you can far low up on almost all of its abilities. The damage output is very high, so I will give it a rate out of 10. This has the highest range out of all the demon arts, so I will give the range a 10 out of 10. Unfortunately this demon art has no movement skills, so I will give the speed a 5 out of 10. This is one of the hardest demon arts to use, so I will give the difficulty a 4 out of 10. Remember the difficulty is 10, if it is very easy, and 1 if it is extremely hard. My final rating for the Tamari BDA is a 7.2 out of 10. Next is Bloodburst BDA. The combo extenders on the Bloodburst BDA are insanely good as you can combo extend with every ability besides the mines. Most of them are also single attacks so it won't fill up the evade bar as fast as other demon arts. The damage is not bad, but it has a lot of abilities to make up for it. The range is pretty good as you can use the landmines which have low cooldowns. The mobility is not bad as this has one movement ability. This demon art is fairly hard to get good at, but easy once you get used to it. The combo extenders get a 10 out of 10 as almost every ability is a single hit that you can follow up on. The damage gets a 9 out of 10 as it is above average, but it has a lot of abilities that all do a lot of damage. The range gets a 8 out of 10 as well, because the landmine has fairly good range and can bring them towards you. The speed will get a 7 out of 10, because it only has one movement ability that is decent. The difficulty of this BDA gets a 8 out of 10, because it is very easy once you learn how to use it. My final rating for the Bloodburst BDA is a 8.4 out of 10. Lastly the Reaper BDA. The Reaper BDA has 4 combo extenders, that are pretty good. The damage output on this BDA is extremely high and all of its attacks are AoE so it's good for farming multiple targets. This BDA has some range attacks, but not very good ones. Obviously the Reaper BDA is the fastest in the game with a lot of movement abilities mainly being its ultimate. Lastly the difficulty of this BDA. This BDA is very easy to use, and I would say it's the easiest besides Arrow. For combo extenders I will give Reaper a rate out of 10 as you can combo extend with 4 of its abilities with high damage. The damage output is very high, although there has been some nerfs it is still very good, and I will give the damage a rate out of 10. This BDA has almost no range but it still has some, so I will give it a 5 out of 10. This is the fastest BDA in the game, so I will give speed a 10 out of 10. This BDA is extremely easy, so I will give the difficulty a 9 out of 10. My final rating for the Reaper BDA is a 8 out of 10. My ranking for the worst to best project slayers blood demons arts go. Tamari in last place with a 7.2 out of 10. 
Reaper in 3rd place a rate out of 10, Arrow in 2nd place with a rate 0.2 out of 10, and Bloodburst in 1st place with a rate 0.4 out of 10. This video is purely my opinion. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like.